Oh yes, oh yes! We're back! Hello, welcome back to another video. It's car boot video time. It's 20 past five, 19 minutes past five. It's been a while, I haven't been to a car boot for many, many different reasons. Um, but the car boot season for me is only just getting started. E-boot runs, e-boot only has one week off a year, which is Christmas. And I think if Christmas fell on a, on a Tuesday or Wednesday, it would still be on the Sunday. But yeah, here we are. I, I've forgotten how to do everything. I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Let's go to a car boot. I don't even have a torch. The sun's gone. See you next year. It's pitch black. 10 to 6. And that's about as much change as I've got. Oh no. Another one. boots again How much then, please? How much this? Ten. Ten pounds, please. And these? Ten pounds. Ten. These orange ones? Ten. It's all ten, ten yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll take them, I'll take that orange one as well. So it's twenty twenty quid. Yeah. How much are the board games, mate? What? How much are the board games? How much is it? Board, no, the board oh. games. Games. Get this all? Yeah, maybe. Yes? Yeah, maybe. 10 pounds. All. 10? Yeah. This one, 10, 5, 5, 5 pounds. All 10 pounds. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's too, too complex. Yeah. Yeah, it's a CIC. Yeah. It's too complex. It's very good. It's all the fun there. They thought it was complex. Oh. It's okay. Yeah, go on, I'll do that. It's okay? Ten pound, yeah. Yeah. Get this one back? No, I've got to, I've got to try it here. Yeah. It's fine. Yes. Thank you. 
How much are the books, mate? Uh, Which ones you got there? It's right. a werewolf one, the monsters in the movies. Um, both of them will do you for three quid, mate. Three quid? Yeah, I'll take them. Ninety nine. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. I can live it's with it. <laughs> it's all my change gone. So that either actually. How much that please? Uh, that was four pounds. Yep. Uh, Tie that. Yep. One sec. I might look. And how much is the? How much is that little chair there? Little one. Hey, how much is your little chair? Chair. Was it two of them? Or just one? No, no, no compared to the jet chair. Um, oh, I thought that was one. You do it, you have the three, the three, two chairs and that for 20 quid. Oh, no, I was, it's a bit out of season for this this one, but this one, the, this stripy one. Just the, that this, and the stripy one. This yeah. one's £8 then. Uh, so that'll be. 12. 12. Yeah. You got change for 20? Yep. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah I'll do that. Yeah. Oh. You know what? I might as well do the I might as well do the twenty quid for the lot. Yeah. Well, I'll do the twenty. It just makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. You go. <laughs> yeah no change required. Yeah. There we are. Thank you. Cheers. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank Cheers. You. Thanks. It's an old chemistry set of any interest to you? Uh, maybe. I mean, I've got loads yeah. Three, though. 
Yeah, just in there. Yeah, just in there. How much are the pans? How much are they? How much oh, are these? Are they? They're £10 for three. Ten, yeah, I'll do that. Is this that chemistry set here? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's a bit there. Uh, oh no. <laughs> Cripple cut. How much the records? Three. How much? Uh, let me ask. I'll go up there then, jump me to build there. How much are the chairs? Yeah, I'll do that. That.
We were going to recover them, but I thought, oh, <laughs> too much work. <laughs> yeah. There you are. That's smashing. Thank you very Thanks much. Thank you. Cheers. Are you going to recover them? Um, no. They're, they're good. They're good as they are. Right. Yeah. <laughs> And we're back in the shop, obviously. It has been a long time since I've got the GoPro out, fired it up, and said those words. Well, I've said it on a live, so if you've been enjoying the lives, then fair enough. The quick, the easy, no editing, no messing, chatting for 40 minutes, upload it, done and dusted. Keeps the YouTube algos happy. And like you just get to chat with your audience, which is something I just I haven't been doing, but I will try to do it more. Um, I might do, I might jump on a live and pack this stuff up. Who knows? Um, it's been a while, it has been a while. Through one thing or another, the rugby season started again, so the kids are like here, there, and everywhere. Uh, the weather hasn't been great. I've been on holiday. But now, it seems like it's, what, we're in October. And this, I'm still, I haven't changed that yet. But I'll come to that, because I've got so many birthdays to read out, probably. Um, but it was good to get out. Good to get some new stock. Good to get some new listings added to the store. I've been literally scratching around, finding stuff to list. Um, and that, also, the money has been a problem. I haven't had any much spare cash to go and buy um, like eBay stock because oh, I think four collections last week, nearly a grand spent on records, and you know, you can't always just magic money from places. Uh, shop's been good. Both shops been good. Um, Red Brick's been good. Everything's going well at the moment. Yeah, so, uh, birthdays, can't remember where we got to, I think we got to, yeah, we must have literally missed the whole of December, of September, I might as well just go through the lot, Ian G on the 6th, Stephen Thornstone was my 10,000 subscriber on the 13th of September, sorry I missed it, oh god, who's that, I know who that is. So about in a second. Chris Boss on the 17th, Martin. Naughty Sevens Caden on the 19th of September. Andy Pandy, it was 40 on the 21st. Stephen Mills, happy birthday. Monkman, 22nd. Queenie Conquest, who I met at the eBay Open. She was 49. Uh, Beetle Dave on the 26th of September. Amanda Draycott's Natalie on the 26th of September. Bold Finds Dad. Happy birthday, my number one fan. Uh, 26th of September, Amanda Hodgetts. 30th of September, happy birthday. And we are now into October. How quick is this year going? Now, please remember, I did not create this calendar. It was done for me. Why would I be so big headed to create my own calendar? I don't know. But here is the October picture and there he is good old double B at Drayton Manor um, oh, what I'll do for those of you that don't know I will now link the, the famous Barry Blue Nose goes to Drayton Manor video in the corner, um, yeah, it was one of them, just like spin-off of the Brumbury Sanitar. It was, it was a couple of years ago now. Got got into a bit of bother over it, but um, I think that's all past now. Anyway, October. Beady Eye was on the second. Deirdre Higginbottom was on the fifth, and I actually went to Deirdre Higginbottom's birthday party. She invited me. Uh, I came as a special guest. Uh, John, aka Brum Reseller. Um, so yeah, can't, what was it? She, f f 49, f f 39, 40, something like that. Peter Taylor, 
Croc by, Croc by Carol, Simon Campbell on the 6th, Steve Irvine, Sam on the 9th, Carboot Chris, met him at the eBay Open for the first time, his birthday was on the 11th of October, happy birthday, Julie Motley on the 13th, and then that takes us bang up to date, and I probably forgot a load, but that takes us up to the 16th. I sold, it was in a live, I think. I sold a Burghouse coat. He's asking if it was green in, in, the, in the messages. Now, when someone asks, is the coat green? When it clearly states black in the description and the pictures clearly are black, you've either got something wrong with your phone or you're registered blind or you really are that stupid and you're really gonna cause yourself some problems if this item sells to that person. And guess what? <laughs> we have got some problems. Um, I sent it to him. I did think like, oh, when I looked at it, oh, this looks a bit dark blue or light black. Uh, anyway, it wasn't, the, what the problem wasn't the color. The problem is it didn't fit him. Even though the measurements of the whole item was in the uh, description, he's sending it back. But the other problem was, it was that there was hairs on it. I said, send it back. He, he, he said, I, I will not accept anything under, no, send me an offer under £20 and I'll accept. So I sent him £19.99. Yeah. So, you know, I'm stupid. I should have thought better um as a tradition what was recently sold I'll start off with music um well, what, where did this these these were donated this was donated to the shop woman come in and said here you can have these cds they came in these nice uh, like leather trunky brass buckle cases there's two now now CDs in there, now 15, now 17. Uh, that went for 17 quid. So one to look out for for their media buyers. The fat box now box sets. Uh, as it's the year of the stack, a stack of Beastie Boys CDs. Um, again, that was in, I think, no, that was in a different CD that was just given to the shop. The problem is the charity shop next door at the moment seems more closed than open and um, especially on a saturday it's closed and that's a good time for people to go and uh, drop stuff off to the shop but it's closed so we're getting more people donate music related stuff to the shop so it's win-win really but foot falls down so it's a bit like oh beast boys cd bundle 12.99 not mega money but i mean i can't listen to beast boys it's just give me a headache Subscriber bought this Moody Blues Time Traveller CD box set. Um, appreciate that. He did leave me a note. And I think he just said keep up the good work or something like that. But yeah, appreciate that. Thank you very much. Records. Capricorn. 20 quid. Capricorn. I don't know. Some sort of dance record. 20 quid. This sold this morning. Or whilst I was asleep. So it's nice to get up. And you've got a £100 sale. Jimmy, Jimmy well, bleed American, 100 quid. Sleeve's not in the best condition, but I'm sure I noted it. Oh yeah, I'm showing you happy people, 20 quid. Gabrielle walking by, 879. Axel F, Harold Faltermeyer, 8, 879. Uh, Premier Collection, Andrew Lord Webber, tenner. <sighs> this was, so on Saturday, a customer, messaged said would you do me a deal if i bought if i wanted to buy these five records and if you're on my instagram <coughs> brum, brum underscore reseller brum underscore reseller i put on there there was a problem so i said yeah i'll do these five records and i'll make a new listing and i'll send you the link sent in the link we agreed 50 quid the list the listing was listed at 50 pounds Sent in the link, on his end, it said £60. So while we're sorting this out, I don't know what was going on. Obviously some sort of glitch somewhere. 
It's clearly 50 quid my end. This record sold, which was in the bundle. I was like, my God, what is the odds? I mean, this has been listed for like four years or something stupid. I said, look, this one has sold. Is there anything else you want to add to it? He's like, really? Like, I don't know if you kind of believe me or, or what happened, but it's <laughs> nothing I could have done. It sold whilst we were sorting this problem out. So that went for 8 on an offer. So that's probably what it did sold because it went out on an offer. So then he chose um, this stack, as we are in the year of the stack. That's signed by uh, Judge Jules. It was John Double Fleming. So it was that one. 24, The Longest Day, Trance, Track. Ralphie B, Massive. Um, so Lost, Elizabeth Field, Speaking Symphony. Astura, Orion's Belt. So that went for 50 quid. That stack. And then this is Swedish Techno from 1995. Um, that went for... It's a double record. Um, I think it went for £60. Swedish Techno. Have a look out for it, because... It's decent money. Um... Well, now, normally, I get a lot of phone calls to the shop, as you know. I've just got to make a phone call. Um, just bear me one second. Bear me one second. One, one sec. Let's get that out of the way. Um, oh dear, I haven't finished. What was, the other bits? Um, these I've had. The, I've had these for a while. I kind of thought, are they ever going to sell? I think they they clip into s snow. S what are they called? The snow board. Snowboard. Um, he's like was asking questions like. I really struggled to find the brand of this Snow Pro. Couldn't find the brand, even website, nothing. He struggled to find the brand. He was like, have you worn them in the past? I was like, no. And then I thought it might get onto like, you know, do they smell? I was like, look at it, it wasn't one of those people. Um, so they went for 40 quid. Nice condition. I've had no more than tell her. See the Alan Parsons project, I think that went for like 15 quid, I think. 15 to 16, something like that. Uh, this Underwell, the Sinclair Spectrum game. Um, somebody offered me, somebody said, oh, would you take 22? It was on for 25, I was like, yeah, it's fine. Um, nice condition. And then he followed up with the mesh saying, I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but please pack it in a sturdy box like that. You know who you're talking to? I'm the Brum reseller. So, and then this sold this morning, which I'm so, I'm kind of pleased, but then I'm not kind of pleased on having to pack it. Um, That's not a crack, is it? No, it's not. Look at it. Um, <coughs> pay three pounds the Norcross car boot sale when I was on holiday. I put it on maximum like listed value there is history of it selling for 80 so i went with that no offers because i thought this is like a premium time of year people go crazy for halloween um i went high and it just sold for 80 quid this morning um so that's perfect exactly what i wanted just before the season is coming to like you know this kind of week would have been the like, peak time to sell this kind of an item just in time for Halloween. I got 80 quid for it. So, yeah, happy with that. And then, this carpet, which everything is sitting on. Um, car it's only a carpet, right carpet. Um, 40 quid. Which reminds me to say thank you to two subscribers who have bought stuff. And I just 
haven't been doing these kind of videos and it's just kind of slipped my mind. First one, number one, Bancro's Banquets. He spent over £100 and he's, he got like what, what has been described as the stack is going out as hair metal. So Thunder, sort of Bon Jovi, just like guys rocking out with lots of hair. He spent 100 quid on like seven seven different singles. He bought it when I was just going on holiday to Blackpool. Did, did I mention that? And I just never ever got round to saying thank you because he did leave a note so I'll please mention it in the video. So here you are, Bankers Banquets. Thank you very much. Secondly, the carpet reminded me that I have to say thank you to another subscriber who I met at the eBay Open, but I also used to work with when I worked at the bank. I used to work for RBS NatWest for like seven years. Um, I was a bit of a, t a bit of a terror back then, um, but I managed to last seven years before I was sacked. But uh, there was a subscriber, ex-work colleague at the eBay Open. I thought I recognise that person. So this person's left the bank now, and they're they're doing full-time reselling, and they come across my videos a while ago. Never even knew. Um, so yeah, she bought she bought the other carpet, which was returned because the guy said I didn't like it. So you better not return it either. Um, yeah, that's that. Thank you to Anna. And now this is what we got over the weekend. Le Hall. I mean, I could open a vintage like, like folding garden chair shop now. I think I've got the stock. Um, the, these, I'll just come across these as you put in the video. They're all laid out. I thought, oh, you're not going to want a five or eight, surely. She said, how much? She said, oh, 20 quid for the lot. I was like, buzzing. Wooden handles. This one was a fiver. So, 20 quid for them. No. This little stack here was 20 quid. That was 15 on its own. So that made these two pound fifty each. Bargain. Um, I know we're coming up to the end of season, but it's always summer somewhere. That is my thinking. Sometimes a lot of these go to like North Korea, South Korea, and you'll send them to some sort of warehouse in Lo in London, and they'll ship it on to um, North Korea, so King Jong Un can have a seat in his garden watching his nuclear. Rockets go off. Um, yeah, and oh, so this I was checking the brand. It's an Aladdin flask. Very nice, very nice. I mean, no, it's it's obviously retro. Still got a good condition inside. Needs a bit of a clean up, but that's that. Um, and then these pans. Look at them. Look at them, enamel, full stack, they need a clean, you know, full set, what's that grass, there's not even a crack, I thought that was a crack, it's not even a crack, it's... so that, that was a nice, I don't know what brand they are, I'm sure I'll do a Google lens, I did see some sticker on them or something somewhere, uh, a little bit of issues from my book. Sometimes it's just all about the uh, the look. Very nice. Three ball games for a tenner. I'm not going to check. I'm not going to be checking every single flipping card in the blockbusters. It was a mess when I opened it. Pitch black. I'll take the gamble. You know, you'll get a tenner for one of them. Or 15 for one of them. I'm guessing. The money's there in one game. I'm, I'm just going to go for it. Two trainers for a tenner. Um, I don't. They look nice. They look new, unused. But I need to check if they are legit. I'm not liking the look of that tag though. I am not liking the look of that. It's normally stitched on. We'll check. Anyway, I'm sure I know a size eleven. Won't fit me. And then two books. These are going to red uh, red brick. Probably uh, more than likely. Yeah, yeah. Get them up there. Werewolf and a monsters in the movie. Oi. 
and a couple of records yeah good it's good good to be back um so yeah fashion show is going to be interesting i think and um thanks for watching and uh i'll see you in the next video see you in a bit